one's not too bad. It isn't? No. Can I, can you, can I see what So I you're wrote? going, oh, okay. You know what? I'll tell you right now. You need an alkyne for it. That's what I said. Good for you. Aww. Excellent. Does that, does that answer your question? Or you want to Do you draw it real fast? Yeah. Okay, all right. I don't need an explanation. I just want to see what it is. You need an alkyne. Okay, okay. so you still have a diene, but you need an alkyne with that, okay? Now, what I do is I try to draw the arrows backwards. Does that make sense? I don't really like the arrows. You don't like the arrows? <laughs> no, I just like seeing it. All right, all right. <clears throat> well, you need at least one ring. Does that make sense? Yep. Because you have one ring on the end, right? Mm -hmm. Now, um, the, the diene will have this. Okay. Okay. So it has a CH2 on the, uh, the end. Okay. That's one of the reactants. So that's the diene. The diene. Okay. Uh, okay. So then, um, Austin, you're going to need, instead of a diene, I'm sorry, instead of, yeah, yeah. Instead of a dienophile, it's going to be an alkyne, okay? So you're going to have a triple bond, and attached to that is a cyano group. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a difficult one. Well, you, you really that. haven't seen alkynes until today, so maybe that's why it's a little challenging, okay? Can you take a little more, because I'm sure. not good at that, and I don't understand how it's Oh, um, the problem is you have a. Oh, you were trying to write. Hold on a second. Yeah. You have a triple bond part, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, wait. Why you have two. You have two thing? double bonds, and here you only have one. So did you break this bond? But you you have another you have another um, double bond right there. But this isn't a bond. It's just one person. No, no, no. I'm telling you that uh, you have yeah, another a, bond here. Right oh, and it's not drawn. Yeah, well, no, that's in the book. It's I like Yeah, like I didn't draw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why you need a triple bond. Oh, I did. You need one double bond left over. Okay. Okay, yes. Um, can you not just write like your triple bond and then CN and CN? Do you have to show the triple bond between C and C? Oh, okay. Um, well, all right. Wrote it, like, stack. You could have CN, okay? But um, if you're an AP, you're going to need to know there's a triple bond between carbon and nitrogen. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Does that, Austin, does that help? Yeah. Okay. So. so you just have, for the second one, it's just a triple bond and then CN and CN. Yes. Do you have they to put in like the hydrogen? Your side. Or are you not uh, very concerned about that? I'm assuming no, that they're there. Okay. I'm okay. I'm not showing that they're there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Any other questions before I move on? Oh, wait. I did have another question. Sure. 54B. What in the world is going on there? Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah. No, what in the world is just that whole equation? That whole 54 <laughs> is just more difficult. 54 is just a little harder. Messed up. Oh, okay. Um, 54B. Yep. That is hydroboration. Okay, so, so does it's that, that BH3 over does the that peroxide. Follow Marconikov's rule. No. No, no it's anti Marconikov, right? Why? So, because we went over that yesterday. <laughs> It is anti Markovnikov. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's one so, of the equations that is anti So it has BH3 as its first reactant, and then its second reactant is peroxide with OH minus. Okay, um, I have a question. Uh, yeah. The equations we're learning what, right now, what class are they like? Are they considered like SN1? No. Or what are they? No. They're electrophilic addition. Okay. Are we going to learn these? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, did, did I answer your did I answer your question? I think so, yeah, yeah. Once I know that I can do that. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Yeah. Questions? Did you do it? No, we're good. Okay. All right. Does that help? All right. So um, today I wanna do I wanna do oxidation with you and then um, by the way, how many people have their lab notebook ready? Okay, I will take your lab notebooks. If you want to just bring them up front here. Do you want like the lab I think I would look too much. No, I don't want the lab. I just want the notebook. Because I'll grade so the notebook. So just like a third place Yeah, and technically 
should have a composition notebook, not a spiral notebook. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 That's fine. You know what? Can I give you a paper clip? Just so I know where we stand up and have some folks for the we know. No, hit them both, Jeremy. Hit the front. The front. Right, or the video. Don't hit them. <laughs> I can get a card. That's not hit yeah, yeah, I'll take them out. Come on. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. I know they're going to be slapping today. I am sorry. What the heck? Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy's tired. I'm a guy with a guy. I'm a guy. Somebody's got a dab to that camera. That's fine. Did you leave the cable tied in? Big time. Good job. He has to. <laughs> so, real quick, anti Yes. the electrophile goes to the carbon with the least number of, hydrogen. least number of hydrogens yes. on the double bond. Yes. That's for anti. And then yes. Markonikov, yes. the electrophile goes to the one across the double bond with the most hydrogen. Say that one more time. I think I might have said it backwards. I think I need to be writing this down. So, Markonikov's rule? Yes. The, the electrophile goes adds, in the carbon, adds to the carbon with the most hydrogen yes. across the double bond. Yes. And then least carbon for anti Markonikov. Yes. So, what if, in the case of like uh, 54B, when you're adding um, so, hydroxide mm -hmm. and you have a double bond, wait a second. Can I just draw this real quick? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. So keep the Marconic off thing one more time. Electrophile goes on the carbon across the wall with the For most. For Marconic it's the most uh, hydrogens across the And for anti it's the one that's mm -hmm. in here. And that's just for the electrophile. Yeah, but then the, right. so so the height, but the substituent goes on the, the one with the least stuff. The right. substituent does, but For Marconic For Marconic The cation. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I meant. The yeah. cation will form. For Markonikov, the, ca the cation mm -hmm. will go with the one with the most, correct? Or the least. Wait, which one are we talking about? Markonikov. So the way I remember it is the nucleophile is going to go to the most stable carbocation. And it's going to be the carbon that has the least number of hydrogens. Okay? But anti would be the opposite. Okay. What about the So like for the Markonikov? The carbocation. That's the one that has. Okay, like so you can have three different kinds of carbocation. You can have you can have a carbocation when electrophile goes with the most hydrogens and the nucleophile goes with the least and then anti marconicol is the opposite. So the nucleophile will go with that cut off. Gotcha. And then there here this would be okay. Okay, so this one's the, the least stable. This is a little more stable, that's the most stable. Because okay. the hydrogen, they will not help to stabilize that positive charge because they, they only have two electrons. But these carbons have more mm -hmm. electrons that they can kind of donate to that deficient What's carbon. What's stronger, like the carbon-to-carbon -carbon bond or the car uh, carbon-hydrogen bond? Um, hydrogen bond? Well, hydrogen bond is different than a covalent bond. Hydrogen, What's the stronger, though? Hydrogen bonding, okay, that's, that's an attraction of one molecule with another. Okay, and the covalent Based is on the sharing the of electrons. Covalent, you're sharing electrons. Okay. Okay. Um, hydrogen bonding is more of like an electrostat electrostatic attraction. So that's, is that where the whole thing of electronegativity plays in? Yeah. You need to have NOF. Okay. okay. In one molecule. Okay. So like, uh, say a hydrogen bond to like carbon is going to be weaker than a, hard, a hydrogen bond to like fluorine. No, no, no. Okay. Here is, all right, this is water, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're assuming a second water molecule is attracted to this first one, mm -hmm. right? Because this is a negative charge, this that's is a positive polar, yeah. charge. Okay, that's polarity. This is a covalent bond. Mm -hmm. Okay, covalent bond, you're sharing electrons. It's okay. not an electrostatic attraction. Okay. Okay, so these are two different things. Okay. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so go ahead, ask your question. Can I erase this? Sure. Sure. Yeah, so AP people, you're going to have to keep straight hydrogen bonding versus covalent bonding. Okay, they're two different things. And usually there's lone pair electrons involved with hydrogen bonding, and that's why one molecule is more attracted to another.
Can we go over which? Okay. So like, let's say you're doing one where you're adding like Br and like OH and all that stuff. Br two versus the electrophile water. is going to be the one that has the lower negativity, electronegativity. Wait, so we said these were antimicrobial. Yeah, that's antimicrobial. Yeah. So like in that one, which so what's going to be the one with the lowest electrophile? Okay. okay. The so hydroboration, that you're not using the same rules as you are with Markonikov, okay? Markonikov, you're looking for an electrophile, and that electrophile tends to form a cation, okay? So you're going to look for the reactant that is more likely to form a cation, okay? That's going to be your electrophile. So it's going to try to find the double bond, and it picks the carbon that has what? Most hydrogen, okay? That's the electrophile. Then you're going to get a carbocation on the second carbon of yeah. that double bond, and, and the nucleophile, okay. which tends to form an anion, okay. is so attracted to that. Like balance. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what Dr. Filippini was talking about. Okay. So if you understand the mechanism, the yeah. flow, yeah. oh, this makes sense. So you're going to want. Okay, but he's Use doing one. anti. Okay, it's not using so the it's same. So it's opposite. It's doing. So yeah. then the electrophile is going to want the one with the least amount of hydrogen, and the nucleophile is going to want the one. Well, he can't really use that because there's an intermediate step that we're not talking about. Okay. So this chloration oxidation is the only one that that's anti that we're talking about. Okay. 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 So this is the only one that's anti. Uh, that's wrong. I know, but like I'm. Yeah, you need OH. But OH is like PH one single thing. Two OH. I thought they separate them because the hydrogen needs to be. So, here, hold on a second. Can you write it like this? Yeah, pH changes like the Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you follow Mark Konikov, you have to have a CO and you learn But it doesn't. So, for like this one, then you have to add an OH. I think it's the same thing. No, you have the OH.
Um, I'm not showing stuff like that. Okay, so try not to apply the same kind of mechanism to the anti-Marconikoff, okay? Just remember that the nucleophile is going to attach to the carbon with the most hydrogen, right? Okay, all right. Um, can I move on? Because I, I, I got some stuff I want to show you today, okay? All right, the first thing I want to show you is oxidation, okay? This is the last reaction with um, alkenes. Okay, so this is the last reaction with alkenes. And we, um, we did this in lab. So permanganate, do you remember what color that is? Purple. Purple, Purple. okay. When you add it to a substance that has an alkene, okay, does anybody know what happens to the, the mixture? It becomes... It's brown. Yeah, so it changes color, okay? Now, I, I was watching Jeremy do it the other day, and there was some slight color issues with it. Um, the prediction is you would see a color change, okay, if you added it to an alkene, but sometimes the real result doesn't always come out the way you thought it was, okay? So maybe there were some problems with the reaction that we were doing, okay? So you need an alkene. So you need potassium or permanganate, okay? And um, is that the only oxidation. There's it's the, there's a, there's ozone lysis. I'm not gonna ask you for that one, okay? Um, so the result that you get is what we call this is what we call a diol, okay? We haven't talked about alcohols yet. But um, what happens is the permanganate reacts with the double bond and it adds a hydroxy group, okay? How does it do that? Um, yeah. I am not showing the mechanism. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna refer you to the page that it's listed on, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're not going through the, um, Austin? Yes. I, I would love to give you an easy answer, and I'm assuming the reason why they're not showing you the mechanism is there isn't an easy mechanism. Is it in the book? Yeah, so if you look on page 97, there is no mechanism, okay? So just, you're gonna it's have to know the way that, it is. that it forms. That's just the way it is. Yes, just the way it is, okay? So why does it, like, add alcohol? Very similar to weed. Um, I am assuming that the oxygen that's in the permanganate reacts with the double bond. Is that just something you need to know? Yes. 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 So yes. Yes. Now, I'll tell you right now, I, I also dissolve the permanganate in water. Okay, so I'm sure water probably enhances the so reaction somehow. Possibly where the aqueous element Yeah, or, you know, you got to remember that this is a mixture. It's not always pure product. Okay, there could be some reactant that's left over. Plus, there's probably some other pieces, parts that they're not showing you, okay? But these are the main results of that reaction, okay? Main results of that reaction. So that's the last piece that I want to talk about with alkenes. So oxidation yeah. basically just, it doesn't follow like any of the same rules, it just, that's yes. the product, that's yes. just gonna be how it is. That's okay. how it is. And this is a test, okay? So I could ask you, ladies and gentlemen, I could ask you on your quiz next week, you know, what is a test that you can use to tell you that you have an alkene, okay? And test for oxidation. So you would test using permanganate, okay? And you, you permanganate permanganate or potassium permanganate? Mm -hmm. It's it's potassium permanganate, but uh, the ion is probably what you're using to help change it to a, a, a diol, okay? okay. So I would just say, make sure you understand that this is a test for the presence of an alkene. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, there's no way that's the only way it can talk to us. Yeah, so Jeremy, right, you didn't get anywhere close to that color. No. Yeah. Ours so. is all purple. Okay, all right, yeah. so I like sometimes. Two purple and two that were kind of like clear. Sometimes it's just a slight on. color change and it's not exactly what you predicted, but you know, if there is a color change, that's probably a good 
um, rule of thumb that there is a presence of an alkene. Okay. Uh, All right.
bottom, okay? All right. Um, once again, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> for Markonikoff, okay, it follows with alkynes, okay? So notice that we have a triple bond, and once again, the electrophile is adding to the um, side that has the most hydrogens, okay? Has the most hydrogens, and then the nucleophile goes to the more stable carbocation. Yep. Okay. So is that seem pretty reasonable? Big five. Okay. So luckily the pattern is the same. All right. Now um, this one you're going from an alkene to an alkane. Just so you can two moles. So you're yeah. This is one mole. So this would be the second mole. Okay. All right, so don't be surprised if you have an alkyne and you get two moles of HPR. Does that make sense? And that means you're gonna start, there's gonna be no double bonds. It's just yeah, just you'll just go straight to an alkane. I got it. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think I just have one or two more I wanna show you and then we'll practice. Okay, um, so here is hydration. Okay, so um, here we have water. Okay, we did the same thing with an alkene. Here's the acid. Um, this is probably where it helps to catalyze the acid, okay? Now so here... A lot of the catalyst you can use for... Yeah. How do you yeah. know which one's the catalyst? Well, okay, so this is the reactant. The if, the, if the reactant is on the left-hand side, whatever's on the arrow is probably going to be the catalyst, okay? On top. On and top. bottom. Okay. <laughs> so um, here is the reactant. And notice once again that um, we're forming just an alkene, just an alkene, okay? All right, um, hold on, hold on. sure. Messed up here, sorry. Sure. All right, so you're adding hydrogen and mercury. Now, okay, let me, let me tell you this, looking at the book. Where's the HG? Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, if you turn to page, hold on. Because I forgot about this piece here. Oh, it's on page 104. This is the only thing I want you to know. Okay, so you're not gonna you're not gonna have this intermediate. Okay. So notice that unfortunately you're gonna have to know the fact that we, we get a double bond O and then the um, methyl group on the end there. Okay. So that's gonna be one of those things that you're probably gonna have to memorize. Okay. For alkynes and hydration. Okay, alkynes and hydration. All right. What's our test again? Um, my guess is Tuesday at the earliest, okay? Okay. Um, I have one more, and I don't see it in the slides here. I feel bad for the kids that aren't here. Yeah, but I'm, I'm hoping that if they see the video, which I ha should have by today. Okay, I have one more reaction. I don't know why it's not in here. Okay, I'm gonna put this up on the board for you. Well, another thing I'm gonna throw out to them is they can meet me on Monday. We could review on Monday. Okay, so you have, you have um, a satellite anion. Okay, so you have a formation of a satellite. Have you heard of the term acetylene before? No? Okay. Acetylene? Acetylene. Acetylene. I've heard of it. Okay. Um, for those that do welding, That's remote. they use acetylene. It's Didn't a you gas. Tell us that? Huh? Didn't you tell us that or is that just a bulletin No, I probably talked to you about it. Ooh. I guess I should try doing that. I don't know if I have enough. Well, we're gonna talk about acetylsalicylic acid. Oh, that's aspirin. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So um with the
Now, why do we single out that hydrogen? Because we're going to form an anion. Right with there. It. Right there. Okay. And the carbocation goes in there. Um, has Mr. Salzman talked about acids yet? We haven't. We haven't. No, we're not. Okay. Here. All right. So, um, what I would do is, if you look on page 104. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a strong base. Okay, so Na plus NH2 minus. All right, I need quiet, please. This is a strong base. And what happens is um, this is a weak acid. Okay, acids tend to have hydrogen involved with them. Not always, mm -hmm. but they tend to have hydrogen involved with them. Okay, so the acetylene or the acetylide willing to give up that hydrogen in the in the presence of a strong base okay so as a result you get a negatively charged anion okay so does it like, does it like or something like that? Is that so you're when you have acids they tend to give up their proton okay? okay so as a result of it what's left behind is a negatively charged anion okay and I'm running out of room here What happens is you have a negative charge because of the removal of the hydrogen, mm -hmm. okay? And as a result, you have a positive ion that is associated with this negative anion, okay? So it keeps the triple bond. You're not removing the triple bond. It keeps the triple bond, okay? The other thing is you're plucking off that last hydrogen. That's all you're doing. And you're so, the so what's the product? So this is the product. What happens to the NH2? Do you know what NH3 is? Ammonium. Very good. You said it's plus NH2? Yeah, so these are the two reactants. I'm oh, sorry, two oh, products. Two, oh. two products. It's a very stinky. So wait, hold on. The hydrogen went and formed ammonium then? Mm -hmm. Ammonia. Ammonia, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, ammonium would be this, Austin. Ammonia is like the cleaning product, right? Yeah, it's very stinky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what I want to do with you now stinky. is, <laughs> yeah, it's really stinky. Trust me. Um, go ahead and download the worksheet because I want to practice with you. That was stupid. That was like six or seven. It was lemonade tonight. That's lemonade went clear. No, lemonade yellow. I know that. Well, lemonade yeah, was yeah, that's six or seven. Clear. I'm trying to figure out why. Can you return your Is she still filming Yeah. Hi, Wagner. Hi, Jay. All right, I can't seem to find my. Oh, Once again, the alkyne reaction list. What's the, what's so, the, if you want to use this to help you make um, flashcards, you can. <clears throat> um, There's an alkyne worksheet. Do we have those websites? Is chapter three. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Are we doing this right now? Yeah. All right. Um, how about I do a couple from the top and then a couple from the bottom? How does that sound? Yes. Well, can you can we like work on them and then we'll see? Oh, you want to do that? That's fine. We'll like do one at a time or something like that. All right. Um, I'm assuming everybody knows what one butyne is, right? Wait, wait. Yeah, which yes, is, which yes, is, which yes, is yes. Called? It should be uh, chapter three alkyne, or no, it actually says chapter 12. Yeah, hold on, we'll I, I, I stole it off the internet. Is it just in pages for the week? Yeah, it should be. You might have to go to files and Chapter 12, you said? Yeah, yeah, it says chapter 12. I didn't, uh, 12. I didn't rename alkyne. it. Oh, I can't
Trans. Trans. Right? Trans. One two. One two. Dibromo. Dibromo. Protein. Protein. <coughs> There's four. Wait. Protein. Four. No. No. Butene. Butene, right? And that way, there's four still want to, yeah. Oh, all right. Let's, oh, yes. Let's do real quick. Oh, we got time. Let's do two butene. Can we do the hydrochloric acid one? Yeah. Um, sure. I just want to make sure that you see what's going on here. All right. So um, we have two butene, right? So what do we have with that one? Our product is a alkene. Alkene again. And how are the bromines? Um, trans. They're trans once again, right? We're doing two butine. It's, it. it's at the bottom. Um, and then you'll have a methyl on each. Yep. We're bromine two butine with bromine. So how are you what? gonna? How are you gonna name that one? So it would just be um, trans. Trans what? Trans diver or trans two three uh -huh. dibromobutene. Very good, Austin. Could you make it cis? Or is that not no. One? Not, no. Not with no. not with bromine. Only uh, Lindner's catalyst from what yeah. we know so far. Yeah. All right. So you said you want the hydrochloric acid. This one. Right yep. here? Okay, it's not that bad. It isn't? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Trust me. Okay, now, if there are two moles, what does that mean? What's going to be our product? You're going to have two moles of this? Two moles. Do you want me to do it step by step here? Would that be good? Yeah, I have like one inch down and one inch Which number is this? This is um, right here. Two inches. Okay. So I got two in the equation. So I just, I'm just doing the first one. What am I going to get with... Is this following Markonikov? Yes. Okay. This follows Markonikov's rule. Okay. So what do I get? Oh, I got gotcha. you. So you're going to put the... Um, chlorine on the second carbon. Chlorine on the second okay. carbon. Okay. Right. So I'm going to have uh, CH2, right? Double yeah. bond C, Cl... CH2, CH3. Okay. Now I have one more mole of HCl, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You do the same thing. So then I need to add. And how do I add? Add it to the bottom. So with that one slide that we have, the halogens, how do they add? They add to the same, same carbon, carbon, right? Okay, so we're going to have um, oh, those have like two, oh, CH3, gotcha. and then you're going to have yeah. chlorine here, chlorine there, CH2, CH3. I got you. Yep. Okay? Where so they, it? so because it follows Markonikov's yeah. rule, they add to the same carbon. Four. Okay? God, why is it? And you, since, you have two mold, since you have two moles of it, you go from an alkyne to an alkane. Yeah, so the first step is you go to an alkene, and then the last step, you're an alkane. Why do you call it CL and you're adding another HCL? Is it because there's two of them? Yeah. Yeah, there's two HCLs. Big time. Yeah. But you don't put that into it. You don't have to put. Can you put. Can you put the one butene plus two HCL in the reactant? Like, reactant, like up there. Two, the before the arrow. Can you put two HCL or is that not. Oh, right? oh, you want to go from here to here? No, no, I'm saying like when you're writing when you're writing the reaction. I, if do you, I, can you not. Can you write. Like, can you write well, the one butene plus two HCl and then do the? You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Like, can I? Yeah. So you, you, you put the two there. Is that not allowed? You could. Yeah, you can do that. I just, <laughs> I broke it down. I was gonna walk. You write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I broke it down. <laughs> Triggered. <I'm swearing. laughs> okay. All right. Um, oh, are we gonna name that? Sure. That's not bad. Two dichlorobutene. So it'd be yes. two two. Yeah, two, yeah, two, yeah, two, yeah, two, yeah. two, 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 two,
sucking off the hydrogen. Okay? All right, you want me to do, I'll do the um, one butane one. Okay? It's not that bad. We're almost out of time here. See, this is, if once you figure out the system, it's not that bad, right? Yeah, it's still too bad. Oh. You need a challenge. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, we're doing NaNH2, okay? All right, I'm breaking it down into the ions just so you can see. So what happens is we pluck off that, that hydrogen and it forms an anion. So when you're adding pluck, pluck. Uh, sodium, you're getting rid of a hydrogen? So when you're adding sodium, this base is pulling off that hydrogen and giving you this and neg negative replacing charge. replacing it with sodium? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it has an ionic attraction, right? Let's say this is that like... Okay, and then we, have, then we have this stinky ammonia as the side product, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really not that bad. Um, all right, so later on I'm going to post the video for our friends. Um, I'm here before school on Monday, so if you're if you're totally stuck with something, also I check my email over the weekend. So if it turns out that you're not sure about something, you can definitely contact me. What time me. on Wednesday? Um, I get here about seven ten. So what room are you in? Here, I'll stay here. Cause I came this morning. Oh, I I'm usually in one. Oh, I went to mass. Oh, okay. If you don't tell me ahead of time, yeah, I know. I sometimes go to mass. Um, one day I might. Yeah, but if you Monday, if you let me know I'm a, that you need me, I will be there for you. Okay, so don't don't think that I don't want to help you. Okay, but yeah, I will be here. I'll be here Monday for sure because I'm assuming they're going to have questions, yeah, just knowing sure. how things go. Okay. Alrighty. So, do you feel a little more confident after going over these? I just have to know like what actually from a reaction. Yes. When you get a reaction, like what actually goes on to that? And I yeah. Okay. Yes, and use that, use that, um, 